all tanks are a product of design compromise. Firepower, armor, and mobility are three contradictory quantities. No tank can have unlimited amounts of one of them without losing something else. But if you create a machine that balances firepower, mobility, and protection, will this give you the perfect tank? The Soviets certainly seemed to think so when they built this mechanical monster back in the 1950s. They liked the design so much that they eventually assembled a record-breaking 95,000 of them. If the Cold War had ever gone hot, these are the tanks that would have rolled into Western Europe. This was a tank designed to be able to crush all before it on the North German plane and be able to smash through NATO's defenses. The Soviet T-54-55 tank, first produced in 1948. Top speed, 30 miles per hour. Range, 250 miles. V-12 water-cooled diesel engine gives power-to-weight ratio of 14.44 horsepower per ton. Armor, 203 mm maximum thickness. Primary armament, 100 mm D10T gun. T-54-55 manufacture began back in 1948 and continued throughout the next 30 years, a production record second to none. But like all Russian tanks, little thought was spared for the crews inside. When it comes to designing a tank, the Russians don't really care about crew comfort. They don't expect them to be in the tank for that long, whether it's because the tank has a shorter range or because life expectancy is lower. This was the first of the new generation of Soviet-developed tanks to be given to their allies after World War II. The T-54, T-55 was produced in large numbers. The Russian idea on tank production is, much like Lenin said, that quantity has a quality all its own. So the, the Russian idea tactically was that if you had enough of these, you could overwhelm the defense. But the T-54-55 has not proved itself a world beater. In tank-on-tank -tank combat, the Soviet workhorse has been crushed by its Western counterparts in Israel and in the Gulf War. The T-54-55 scores average marks for firepower, mobility, and protection. In all, 95,000 T-54-55s were made. So it must score top marks for production. But it scores just below average for fear factor. The only reason to be afraid of this tank was because of the vast numbers produced.